Anyway, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where last episode we launched two satellites. Okay, both were in orbit around Kerbin, but uh, hey, it's a start, right? These little things of wonder. So what we're going to do next is we'll load our thing that got us to Mun and Midmus. Midmus, Midmus, whatever. This beasting hulk of a rocket, which people in chat are like, all too eager to see fly. Yes, the satellite thing is what we're trying to do. Um, I will strap some satellite-ish looking things on this thing. See if you can get like one into orbit around Mun. Bring it back and if that works, maybe try it on Minmus. It's a thought. See if it works. Which is probably gonna account for the extra weight. I could do the same thing here, but I'd rather not. Put it back where you found it. Ah, oh, jeez. Now you've done it. Uh, um. There we go. Get rid of this. Get no out. You think clicking the leak would get like, you know, rid of it. There we go. Okay. So the same satellite ish built thing as we did last time. We'll put two on again for symmetry, even though we technically only need one. We also have way too much rocket for what we're trying to attempt, but I don't really feel like building an entire new ship. So, decoupler. Yeah, it'll f sort of fit. Hmm. No, we don't want quadruple, we want double double. Du Could like not do that. See the moment I touch the Oh so now you're willing to do one. Oh my god. I just want double symmetry. Okay. Okay. Alright. You got it. Uh, uh. Mm. Yeah, okay, fine. All right, so we put on the sciency thing. I'm a jig, I'm a bob. If you put that up higher, it should be fine. I'll just find a way where I can just select the decoupler. Well, it's sort of attached. And why did it not do double symmetry? Hey, okay, 
Delete, take you, put you back on. Okay, this is not what I was looking for. Okay, so you go on here and then you press X. Oh yeah. Well, because they are going to be forming the base of my quote unquote satellite. I don't know if this is going to be a stupid idea or not yet. I'm just only going to imagine the answer is yes. What you're doing is stupid. Which means I'm going to do it anyway. Not what I had in mind. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to be glad if I just get this off the ground. I'm not even thinking about that Eve thing you mentioned. I put all this. Yeah, let's just touch. Let's just live leave the normal rocket where it is. Let's just try this. Structural. That's too big. And it didn't put one there now. Oh my god. Okay, just one double symmetry. Uh, there we go. Just gotta make sure this is low enough so it doesn't stick to the decoupler. That could be a problem. Okay. Then. Let's try it with this one. Eh. Get the sciency thing. I guess we can use this one. Sure. We'll make this the base of our satellite. And again, you only put it on one. Seriously, why is it so hard to understand that I want you to put one on the other decoupler too? Fine, I'll build one myself. Oh no, I did put one on now. See, it's not that difficult. All right, let me slap some batteries on. Boink. 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 Slap some of these on. I should probably just make one of these. Uh, around parent parts. I want that to be the parent part. 
It's not letting me do it though. Mm. Let's just put some on. Whatever. We need symmetry anyway. Uh, probably not like that though. like it's made for it communication no why would I be so cruel to do that that's why I'm using these things I'm pretty sure they're called kerbal not kernel kernel is like a piece of corn that gets stuck in your teeth. I mean, this looks like it could actually work. Kinda. You got way too much fuel for what we're trying to do, but... Now, the main question is where did it stick those decouplers over there? Um, it doesn't really matter where these go because we decouple the manual anyway. Okay. Mun satellites. One satellite. We'll see if they burn up. If not, we'll fix it. Satellite. M. Is it M? K. One. Oh, then let's not go too fast. I've never really went too fast, so. Okay, let's give this a strange and bizarre go. All things wobbling again, which is always uh, promising. Throttle up a bit. And launch! We've got way too much fuel. But I can't be bothered to adjust. Alright, there's our gravity turn. Okay. Wait for solid fuel to go. All right, good decouple. Doing fine as far as throttling goes. We're slowing down, which is less than ideal, but there you go.
Hmm. It's another phase done. going these our satellites are still doing well Not feeling this. How's our fuel looking? Oh, we still got those left too. Oh, we're doing fine. Okay, go prograde. Wait until we're roughly at apoapsis. Are our satellites still on? Yep. Let's try not to crash into our satellites over here. <clears throat> okay, until we're like 20 seconds out, then we'll hit it again. Efficiency is key, or so they let us believe. Another phase done. Thank you kindly. Okay. We're waiting on a MUN intercept. Which I know I can do with the old maneuver node things, but. I like to think I got a handle on it. Like this as well. Good. 
now we need to go to like here Just make sure that our periapsis is at 80 or higher. And then we can just wait until Mun decides to pay us a visit. Come on, we're no longer in the atmosphere. We're already in progress. Yes, yeah, stupidly slow. Come on. Now we're doing it. Okay, prograde, yes, good. I'll just let our periapsis stick up a little bit further. In the meantime, our little satellites are still having fun, I hope. Okay, let's have a look at our periapsis. Wait. Okay. All right, now we just do circles. Yeah. Unless I can warp until I get an intercept, but I doubt it. This is why you use maneuver node, people. Okay, so I'm gonna have a Mun intercept on my next go around. So let's just save it here. I will call it Sat Mun. Int. I guess we could just warp. Okay. <clears throat> we align ourselves retrograde. Speed up time a little bit. Bing. Okay. Set ourselves retrograde, warp to periapsis. And we just want to clean orbit around Mun. And we'll launch our satellites. Okay. Burn retrograde and power the engines.
Let's make that a little bit smaller. Cool. All right, let's launch ourselves a satellite. Still got plenty of fuel to make it back. Extend antenna. Bzzzt. Entirely sure why I brought this other than just having something to clip on. Really should have put some science on this thing, shouldn't I? Oh well. Okay. Decouple. Cool. Alright, now we just need to get back. So we can go to Periapsis Burn. Retro. Now we go to A. Oh, Periap. I don't think it matters too much. They're roughly the same anyway. Let's we'll go to one of them and we'll burn. Prograde. May as well launch the other satellite now. I always think he would have be oriented before we do the time thing, but apparently not. Is there any science we can do while we're here? May as well grab what we can. Please. Nothing. Bored. Okay. Extend antenna. And. Get rid of this. Decouple. Cool. Alright, are we situated properly now? Prograde, yes, okay. Floor it. Okay, so this is where we escape Mun. And I should have kept the satellite and let it go like here. Mm, I kind of want to get one in there, yeah, sure. Load. Uh, and then... Mun... Set mon yeah, okay, load. I just wanna get satellites flying everywhere so I'll eventually crash into one. And then wonder why everything is going so horribly wrong in my life. Anywho, let's warp to here again. At least you know how to do this, huh? Get ready to burn retrograde. Time warp. Retrograde warp to periapsis. Retrograde, yep. Let's just check the ship that it's not doing things. Okay. Bring the nav ball up. And burn.
it's not perfectly circle, but I guess we can go to periapsis and flatten it out a bit. Sure. Warp. Hey, if you're going to do something, you may as well do it fine. Or in style, I guess. Still suffering a tiny bit from wrestling a tree earlier today. All in good fun though, huh? Let's bring that down to 750 as well. Launch a satellite. Extend antenna. No, it was like a, like, you know, the, those green spiky things you generally see in like Christmas decoration thingies. It was one of those, not a fern. I don't know what they're called. No, also not mistletoe. Hmm, whatever. Goodbye, satellite. You be nice. Okay. Now let's go apoapsis. Oh, prograde. No, it was not one of those. But do pay attention to your fern trees. They may always be important in games. Yeah, most of it's gone, I hope. Okay. We are around at prograde, so let's burn. Until we have a mon escape. Good. So if once we get here, we'll be once again grabbed by Kerbin. Warp there. And we'll uh, let our other satellites free here. No, I put it on the back of a, um, what do you call those, like those little wagons you can put behind your car. That one nicked me pretty darn well though. At least it wasn't a rose bush. Apparently those are like way worse. Right, we escaped Mun. You can always make different puns. Nobody's forcing you to stay around the greens. Extend antenna. All right, who wants a satellite named after him if that's actually a thing I can do? Whew. All right, time to bring you home, Jeb. Prepare to burn retrograde. Uh, 
I had another mud encounter there, which we didn't want. Okay, cut it there. Let's go here and put in this thing a bit. The warp here. Well, it's a bit late now. I don't think we'll ever be seeing it again. Unless it's like on video or something. Should have put a camera on it. Yeah, well. Anyway, so now we have two satellites in close proximity of Kerbin, one in a way larger proximity in Kerbin, and we got one rotating around Mun. Here, total G. It's actually starting to get evening here, but a morning to you. Okay, let's. Are we set? Yes. So let's burn. We'll dial this in a bit so we don't have to come into the atmosphere at like close proximity to the speed of light. We should have plenty of fuel. We still have that small Terrier single engine tube. Why would you play stuff like Cookie Clicker, man? What's at the end of the line for you anyway? Besides, like, disappointment and such. Why did you do it to begin with? Let's get our periaps to 35 and we should be in for a clean landing. But stop playing it! How difficult can it be? one phase that actually just did give up okay um, we still have an orbit so let's warp here Can you just not look at a wiki or something? No, let's play a game where you have to click a button five million times. That's f good and fun. I mean, by all means, if you're enjoying yourselves with it, go for it, but... I ain't getting it myself. Wouldn't mind being able to touch down on land, but... Okay, that's enough. How much fuel do we have? Quite a bit. Yeah, but when you're done here, like... If you push the right button on this game, hey, look, you put a satellite around Mun. Here it's congratulations, you've unlocked, well on your end it's like congratulations, you unlocked an auto clicker, which kind of beats the entire purpose of the game. Uh oh. Uh, we're going to have to burn prograde a bit now. <laughs> we want this at 35, not 6. Retrograde. Alright, goodbye, Styles.
And we'll see if we can land this entire thing again. Our parachute sh should allow it. It's a big lug. It should be fine. Okay. Well, let's give it a shot. Worst case scenario, we can throw this off. We may not have to. But if B, we can decouple this and just have our landing pod. We don't have too much science on us. Basically just this thing and these two, but... Um, probably shouldn't be doing an AVA report at this point. Can we do a crew report? Yeah. That's a good thing engines can become a bit warm. It looks like we're in for a water landing though. It's our legs getting hotter. Wouldn't mind keeping those alive. Suppose I could orient myself like up or something. But let's just deploy the chute. There we go, that'll help. Maybe we can swim our way somewhere. Um, we seem to be missing a few bits. Temperature measurement from the bottom of Kerbin. Three point two science. Look at that. Hey, every bit of science is uh, worth it. Sure. Take surface sample. It's superior to dramatically increase surface humidity if anything it touches. Oh my god. Do the higher-ups know about this? All right, let's recover the vessel. Uh, 12.4, it's not amazing, but it's something. Potentially proper plane MK2 debris. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's go to the tracking station, have a little or quick look at our satellite network. Ain't that a thing? More stuff to clutter the whole thing up. I guess you can turn them off. Cool. Alright. Well, I think that's gonna do it for 
this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still in the series. Feel free to subscribe by coming, liking, and or something if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.